everybody. Uh, welcome to Good Day Farm. Uh, snow day here in Northwest Illinois. And I thought, you know what, this is a good time for me to do a review on this snow thrower. Um, this will be the second winter that I've had it. First winter, we didn't really have a lot of snow, but it, you know, it seemed to work well. And so now I've had a good chance, um, even though we haven't had a lot of snow this winter, these last couple of days have been some good amounts of snow. So I've had an opportunity to really see how it works. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of do a quick review of it and uh, let you guys know what I think. So here's what we got. Um, it's a yard machine by MTD with a 26 inch clearing path. It's a two stage and um, it's got uh, you know very basic features. It's nothing real fancy. Um, I kind of looked at all my options and for the price range, um, I thought this was would suit what I needed. It does come with an auxiliary uh, electric start. You plug an extension cord in there. I've only ever used that once and it was the first time I started it this year after letting it sit all year. And I tried cranking it by hand, but it just wasn't sucking fuel down into the, the carburetor quick enough. And it was really cold. It was, I didn't you know, do all this before the snow came. So I plugged that in, um, turned the choke on, hit it a few times. I, then I could smell gas, turned it back to half choke and it fired right up. And now it starts every time. Um, it's got a little primer bulb. I give it about six pushes full choke one pull uh, usually will sputter turn it to half choke and then it it'll fire right up this is the choke knob down here this is your speed and that's the primer bulb to get it going real simple seems to be you know runs real good um, hard to see this up here it's got so much snow and ice on it from using it today but it is uh let me see if I can clear some of that off it's got six speeds forward speeds and two reverse speeds uh, the reverse speeds are really, really low. I'm sure that's a safety thing so you don't back it over the top of yourself. I find um, it's light enough that I can pull it backwards most of the time, unless I'm on an incline or in some deep snow, then putting it in reverse here helps. Uh, rarely do I ever throw snow in anything higher than three, and that's only if there was like an inch on the ground. Uh, most of the time I run it in one or two when it's deep snow, otherwise it, 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 it bogs it down. You know, it can't throw it as fast as you're driving. Um, it does have a manual knob here for adjusting the chute. Um, that was one of the features that I thought wasn't necessary to have. The, the ones that were more expensive had the joystick knob up here. And I've heard some bad reviews about those, that those cables like to break. And um, so saved, I think about a hundred bucks to step down to one with a manual. And I find it's, it's fine. Um, you know, I'm stopping at the end of each row and making my adjustments anyhow. So I'm going to try and show you from this point out to uh, the goat stall in the chicken area, I use the snow thrower. This is one thing I really like about this thrower. It's got the adjustable feet on the scoop in the front. So I set them all the way down so that the blade's up as high as it can be. And then I have no danger of uh, catching twigs or rocks or anything that might jam up the chute. And um, th this is the, the one of the main reasons I got this thrower. Um, so that I could clear paths out to all our animal areas. We used to have to shovel this by hand, and I know it doesn't look like a lot, but trust me, when you get, I mean, that's about a foot of snow right there. When you're out here having to shovel a pathway to all this by hand, just so you can bring water and feed to your animals, it is not fun. Now I've got maybe an inch and a half of snow under my feet, um, no problem. My boots get traction, I can walk on it, uh, works great. I'm gonna take you over and show you the other pathway I cut to the barn. This area here is a blacktop. I had it set to the lowest setting it would go. And now to be fair, there was already a base layer, maybe 
about an inch of snow that I didn't even had had never shoveled or plowed. So it does a pretty good job of scraping that up. I mean, it misses some. If I had stayed on top of this from day one, it probably wouldn't be a problem. The nice thing is there's enough black showing that when the sun comes out, this will melt off. And typically within a day of doing this, this whole area will be completely clear. You go out the driveway there, that's where I raised it back up high again. And it takes me six passes to get that width of the driveway done. Nice and wide, no danger of anybody slipping off and getting stuck in the yard or anything like that. Um, so, and that's pretty easy. It only takes a few minutes to do that. And then we come over here. This is what I wanted to show. So I use this to cut paths out into the pastures because we don't have a tractor with a, you know, um, blade or anything like that or bucket. So we use these Rubbermaid garden carts, two wheel carts. And so we need nice wide pathways to pull those with all the feed and hay in them. They do not pull very well on snow. So this area here goes out to the barn where the hay is. And as you can see, I made this, this is probably six feet wide. And, you know, you can tell, I don't know how well you can tell there. I can get my boot in the shot. That snows to the top of my boot. Um, that thing just ate right through this. Again, I had it on the highest setting. So, you know, it's not gonna dig into the grass and cause any problems. But now I've got a nice wide path all the way out to, uh, this is the horse's watering trough. Um, we have to hand carry buckets of water out here. It's a 25 gallon trough for two horses. We usually bring out 20 gallons a day. Um, yeah, sometimes 30, it just depends on how thirsty they are. So it's really critical to have a nice clear path. The water's up there by the house where I came from. And then I just continue over this way towards the barn. Um, again, nice white path. And this reason is because we gotta bring the cart through here to get out there with their hay. This is the garden cart I'm talking about. They're um, you know, two wheeled, very narrow wheels, um, but low center, I don't know if you can see under there. And when the snow's real deep, you're, you're plowing with that. And if you've got any weight in it, it's just difficult to pull. Again, you know, cut a nice wide path here. So overall, I would give it, you know, an A-plus rating. But I did read a lot of reviews, talked to a lot of the locals here uh, before I bought this. And, um, you know, I think a big bonus was going two-stage. I know they make a three-stage now. Um, this thing, the, the dual-stage seems to throw the snow plenty far enough. It's, I think if it threw it much harder or farther, however you want to say it, like the three-stages, with the wind we have here, it, it's so fine, it would just blow right back in your face. I typically adjust the chute to where it only throws it about five feet away and i find that that helps prevent it from blowing back in my face um anyhow that's all i got to say about it i, I highly recommend it i think if you know you're looking for a, a above entry level i would not call this an entry level thrower it's definitely you know being 26 inches and and the you know gas power and all that it's it's heavy duty work and it does a great job at it so um i you know almost done with year two of using it i have no doubt that next year will be just as great Thanks a lot, you guys. Have a good day. Bye now.